Okay, just a very short announcement from the organizers. Um, Siddhartha's Intense Singapore organizes the teaching program of Donsa Kempo Rinpoche in, in Singapore, and they also invite teachers recommended by Donsa Kempo. Um, by Donsa Kempo Rinpoche. 84,000 is also a global non-profit founded by Rinpoche to translate the words of the Buddha and make them freely available to everyone. If you would like to be informed, please join the mailing list, which we will be passing around. Also on that table, there are some materials. If you would like to, you can browse through them at your own free time. Rice. Good afternoon, Kempo. So today, the topic of the teachings will be how to milk a painted cow. Kempo, please. Good afternoon. Um, before we start over uh, Madhimaka class, I also going to uh, chant Manjushri prayer three times in Tibetan. Uh, so, and uh, then secondly, I will remind the all of you to generate bodhicitta and third we will discuss on madhimaka topic Mother <laughs> Dunny 
Chuja Deni Dajin Sajun Tazun Yun De Luzo Jasi Tobi Ugo Chuta Chutun Chunyi Jint Da Lu Mesun Jombe Yung Lan De Gen Hong Lu Lang U Dom Yin Na Che Lam Mu Do Tzu Po Lu Dum Hing Bo Shis Lam Ma De La Chang Sa Lo Nyan Pul Kui Yi Tru Wa Do Lu Dup Gong Ba Tuk Su Da Wa Tak Wa Yi Chi Sa Ve Lam Ma De La Chang Sa Lo Na Lin Da Ru Ten Chnu Tu Dan Ze Ten Chui Sam Ke Kal Shiva Lakhi Sawa Yen Lama De La Chang Sa Lo Shi Jha Tham Ji Zikwe Chen Yung Bwan Do Gun Ge Le Du Pe Tuk Ji Som Yen Te Len Ze Pe Tong Wan Wan Jong Gwen La Mi Shab Lan Gu San Sa Te Din Chu Jin Che Ra Pe Zhe Jie Da Liu Te Mo Mo Ba Ra Sa Ka Tan Ten Ju Yung Lo To Pa Ye Lo Du Po Pe Nong Wa Sa Do So Okay, then um, uh, we should uh, generate bodhicitta. The bodhicitta means uh, to wish to achieve full enlightenment for other beings for that purpose. And, uh, and then we come to this uh, class, this uh, Madhyamaka class, we need to have this kind of a, uh, attitude. If we have this kind of attitude, then our lesson will be meaningful. Okay. So, The Madhyamaka uh, philosophy is uh, is a uh, it's very important uh, Buddhist philosophy, and also it is very difficult to understand, and also have uh, you know uh, very difficult to accept the ideas. Uh, for us, you know, for us having have very difficult to accept the Madhyamaka's ideas. This is because um, we have been, uh, you know, uh, yeah, we have, uh, we, we are used to our own habit, mm, habit tendencies from beginless until now. So, in a Madhyamaka is deconstructed our ideas, our you know the, our usual thinking, views, everything. That's why it's showing completely opposite what we usually think, what we usually uh, you know acceptance. That's why it's a quite challenging one, and also very interesting uh, subject, and. Uh, Aryan Deva said that those who even arise some second thoughts or doubt about this Madhyamaka, 
doubt about uh, Mademaka view. Actually, he said, actually, you have, you already made uh, uh, easy to abandon root of the samsara. You know? Uh, so that means that even if we can, uh, and end of the our Mademaka lesson, at least if we can, we can, uh, can generate some curiosity on more, more curiosity on Madhimaka view or emptiness, then our lesson has already become quite meaningful. And uh, so before that, mm, so I'm, uh, I w I w uh, you know, the, in a traditional uh, Buddhist institute, like such as like in a Zongsai Institute, our usually lesson, like a Buddhist lesson, is not, uh, it already designed as like a kind of practice, uh, practice, uh, practice lesson. For example, beginning of the class, we just pray to the Manjushiri, which is equivalent to pray to all double gems, and then generating bodhicitta, and then go actual discussion uh, before ending, we do dedication. So this is a already designed as a kind of practice. Um, not like a, just like academic lecture or something like that. And uh, so we are trying to follow like that as we are, um, I'm, I'm sure most of you are uh, kind of Buddhist. So, and uh, then also uh, when we giving the, uh, Listen or this uh, subject like Madhyamaka, uh, we we will uh, before we touch the main subject, we will introduce some history of the subject, and it will make a more you know broad mind to understand the whole, and then go in the actual subject. Uh, we do like that. I think this it has a. Uh, uh, very good value. I mean, <coughs> so because of that, I'm going to try, uh, go trying to uh, explain some brief history of the Madhimaka. Uh, as you, all of you heard, Buddha actually taught many different teachings. Usually, we say eighty-four thousand teachings, and and sub. Uh, according the subject, also we we can. Uh, we usually said that Buddha, all, all Buddha's sutra teaching can include three tripitakas or three baskets, and also um, twelve, uh, you know, uh, branch of the Buddha's uh, uh, teaching. So, no matter which categories are um, putting categories, but they also. The timing, appealingly timing, all Buddhist teaching we are putting in three salmon or three or tuning well of the dharmas. So first he taught four noble truth. Secondly, he taught like Panjaparamata. Thirdly, the he taught more focus on the Buddha nature or, or distinguish between the definite teaching and uh, uh, interpretable teaching. So this is according to Mahayana, the Mahayana, this history, because uh, uh, like according the Sharvakayana, according to Sharvakayana, the second teaching and third teaching uh, not accept as Buddha's taught, like Panjaparamata Sutra, those teaching, and also the last teaching, which is uh, distinguish between definite teaching and uh, interpretable teaching. Those are, mm, the Sharvakayana do not believe they are taught by Buddha himself. But according the Mahayana, like uh, Nagarjuna, Asanga, according them, they will put all the Buddha's teaching into three categories, as I mentioned. So this uh, text, which uh, we are going to uh, study is actually n not real Buddha's teaching. 
It is a commentary of the Buddha's teaching. And, uh, you know, now Buddha taught many different uh, types accordingly, uh, according, uh, you know, according the uh, student capacities. Okay, according, I will put it like this way. According to Mahayana, mm, Mahayana's philosophers, when they interpret the Buddha's teaching, because um, once we see, sometimes the Buddha's saying that karma and the result, the lower karma, reincarnation, are totally existed. In the first teaching, he mentioned like that, four noble truths. Focus on that, and that time, he also accept the form also existed. Feeling is existed. Cognition, you know, the all five aggregates are ex ex truly existed, except like that way. But in a second teaching in uh, on the Vichy's Pike Mountain, when taught this Panjaparamata Sutra, then sa said no eyes, no ears, no forms. You know, the all those things. It looks like a completely contradictory and uh, and the third is uh, also m focus more like a uh, Buddha nature so it, uh, when we look at the look at the Buddhist teaching Buddha himself is contradic contradictory or taught as a contra contradiction but uh, uh, Nagarjuna's interpret how Nagarjuna interpreted is that Buddha, you know, that when he uh, taught Buddhism in uh, India at that time, it's actually kind of revolution of the th Indian uh, concept. And the uh, Indian has a long history of the believing in the Atma, believing in uh, self, uh, truly exist, uh, ultimate self, ultimate soul. So when, uh, but at that time, Buddha, if he, mm, at the beginning, if he taught this uh, more emptiness things, like Panja Paramita, so almost no one accept his teaching. So he taught more accordingly mm, audience uh, acceptance, uh, focus more like moral conduct, Vinaya side, and then, but they also he taught uh, uh, Four Noble Truths. In Four Noble Truths, when uh, uh, talk about uh, uh, the uh, truth of the suffering, he also explained the soulless, selflessness. But not the selflessness as taught in the Panjaparamata Sutra, but uh, he starting uh, the teaching of the selflessness and the first seminar. And the second teaching, when he come down the virtuous pain mountain and when he taught this uh, Panjaparamata Sutra to most audience were the Mahayani uh, students and then he taught real what is really nature phenomena is. So in this sense, sense he, uh, you know, the, uh, a, according like in Navedi's way, preliminary teaching, secondary teaching, and advanced teaching. That is Mahayana philosopher masters were interpreted. So it is not contradictory. In order to leading the higher level, you have to show, for example, in order to bring the donkeys to another age, you have to show Kara first. Kara, 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 yeah. It's the same thing like uh, that, uh, interpretable teachings, all are there, that is uh, just for like appetite to be leading you to in a real meaning, that's what. And then uh, uh, second and third, then uh, he taught, and but then after the teaching, and uh, when Buddha was taught, uh, the not many people written down what, you know, Buddha not written, he was not written a book or something like that, he, he just taught. The, an Indian has a very strong habit, st uh, very strong tradition that memory, oral, you know, the oral language, they're hardly written down. So because of that, after Buddha passing into Paramnivana, there are many, became many schools. 
many different interpreters. So because of that, there were three conf councils or three conferences, which also uh, conference, for example, one is after just Buddha passed in, in the interpreter Nirvana, uh, Kashipa, Aninda, another great monk, they collected all the sutras, mm, like uh, Vinaya Sutra, Sutra basket, and then Abhidhamma basket, all collected, because they, uh, they are the one who really listen from themselves. And then, uh, like that, and then, Actually, in during Buddha's time, Manjushi already know what's going to happen in the future. Uh, you know, after Buddha passed into Param Nirvana, because Buddha, Buddha's teaching is uh, so deep and also taught, uh, you know, echo, uh, according uh, disciples or students' capacities, they are really complex. It's complex. Then Manjushri asked uh, Buddha after. Uh, Buddha passed into Prem Nirvana, who will hold real Buddha's lineage in the future? Asked, asked uh, Manjushri to the Buddha, and Buddha said, 400 years after I passed into Prem Nirvana, and the land of Kokona, uh, then in South India, uh, there will be a bhikkhu whose name Naga, he will distinguish between uh, the definitive teaching and interpretable teaching. He he hold uh, he hold the my definitive teachings uh, lineage. He has a propensity. He met Buddha has made propens propens propensity or predict predict in the at that time Ex exactly. After Buddha passed into, uh, uh, into Param Nirvana 400 years later, then Nagarjuna came to South India, and uh, he he actually comment wrote a lot of commentary of the Buddha's whole whole uh, teaching, not only Mahayana teaching, also Theravada, uh, Hinayana, no, Sharvakayana's teaching, Sharvakayana's teaching and the Mahayana teachings, also Vajrayana teachings. He wrote a lot, a lot of different things. And, um, and also, um, he uh, has many um, shastras, which means a uh, commentary of the whole Buddhist teaching, but the most impo uh, famous are the, there are three, uh, like, uh, collections. The collection, uh, uh, collection of the logi, logic, or reasoning, uh, the collection of the hymns, uh, the collection of the advice. So there are three, uh, he wrote three different categories. Those are really famous. But the uh, Madhyamaka Mulakarika is the kind of root uh, text of the whole his Madhyamaka. He wrote uh, five uh, treasure of the Loji uh, Madhyamaka. The Mula Madhi Makakarika was the Nagarjuna's Mula Madhi Karika is the, the most uh, uh, important or the kind of root text of the whole Madhi Maka tradition. He explored, he explored, um, I mean, uh, he, he, he kind of, uh, he uh, found Buddha's uh, definitive teaching is not first one, it, it, w it is the second on third, which more talking about more emptiness part. He found it and then he commented of the Madhimaka Malakarika. So that's why we, uh, uh, he is the kind of the, uh, the father of the Madhimaka school. Before Nagarjuna, there were two major philosophical schools of the Buddhism. Which is also uh, which is called the Vibhashika school, Santatantika school. Those uh, they are in inside in each school has uh, many sub schools, but they all can put in these two categories. Those are more like Vibhash Shavaka schools, Shavaka Shavaka schools. Then since Nag Nagarjuna, Nagarjuna, 
And then uh, Nagarjuna wrote this uh, root text of Madhimaka or uh, root stanza on Madhimaka. In Sanskrit, it is called Madhimaka Mulakarika and uh, also fund fund fundamental wisdom. Some translate into English, it, the text name is fundamental wisdom. So that um, uh, uh, Mad, um, Nagarjuna wrote this text and commentary of the Buddha's teaching, especially uh, commented on second teaching, which means Panja Paramata Sutra. So then uh, ap apparently uh, Chitramata school came later after uh, Madhimaka uh, Nagarjuna came uh, mm, to the India. Chitramata uh, school came later because well, we can see that in mm, uh, Nagarjuna's text, there's no any debate with the Chitramata school. Only later, in like Chandrakirti's time, then have debate with the uh, Chitramata school. Before that, uh, we hardly see any uh, debate with the Chitramata school. So Chitramata school, even by mm, uh, Asanga, so it's uh, mm, 300 years later, uh, according to the mm, traditional. OK. So now there are, uh, I mentioned Vibhashika school, Satyatantrika school, Madhyamaka school, Chitramata school, those schools all are commented to. They are commenting, uh, they are commented Buddha's teaching. So it, each and every one has amazing, uh, you know, ground, path, result. They established, they have all theories. But first two are more Sharvakayana, and the last two uh, are the uh, Mahayana, Mahayanist. And then, I mean, we are go still talking about this Madhimaka history, you know. <laughs> 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 Madhimaka avatar's history. So, that what's happened is uh, Nagarjuna wrote Mudla Madhi Karika, which established that all the phenomena are not truly existed. Then established all the phenomena it's not was not born. It's not born automatically, uh, ultimately, and it's a kind of a, mm, you know, it's really. And then he made uh, four major assertions. Uh, that uh, four major assertions means that in. The just after the homage of the Madhyamaka Mulakarika, the right beginning of the real text, he said that uh, the all the phenomena were not, ar ar uh, all the phenomena is not arise. It's not arise it's from itself. It's not arising from other. It's not arising from both. It is not arising from neither. And uh, then he's, uh, his disciple, his disciple, there are many disciples. The one disciple is called the Buddha Palita. Buddha Palita, he interpret in Pasangakawe, uh, um, Nagajuna's, Nagajuna's uh, theory. And then later on, there's uh, another, his late, late, late disciple, whose name is uh, Baba Vivika. He interpreted Savartantika Madhyamaka way. And uh, these two has, uh, the ultimate view has no different. But the way of the interpret has uh, different because uh, Baba Vivika, he using logic philosophy to establish of the uh, Nagarjuna's theory. And Pasan Gaka, uh, Gaka is more refuting these logic theories. So we, uh, we will discuss it, uh, those things in um, 60 chapter and maybe next few days. And uh, so anyway, these two, uh, um, uh, after Nagarjuna, uh, there come also two major school of the Madhyamaka. 
which is Pasangaka Madhyamaka school, Sutritantika Madhyamaka school. There are two Madhyamaka schools. And uh, you know, the funny thing is that uh, Baba Vibhika is a really scholar, great scholar. After um, this uh, Buddha Palita interpreted Nagarjuna's uh, text in uh, Pasangaka way, Baba Vibhika refuted it. Refuted, he wrote three uh, um, great digits. Lamb of, uh, you know, the Omar Noah, the l light of uh, Madhyamaka, and then also the auto commentary. Then also another lamb of the uh, wisdom, which is uh, an, uh, interpreted word by word of the whole Nagarjuna's text. And then uh, most at that time, most of uh, Madhyamaka philosophers follow the Baba Viveka, not uh, um, uh, Dhamma, uh, Buddha, Buddha Palita. You know, they are more interested in uh, Baba Viveka tradition, uh, which is Satatantika tradition, Madhyamaka tradition. And uh, then later, this Chandrakita came to this world. Chandrakita, he found the a lot of mistakes with uh, mm, Baba Vivika's uh, interpret. And also he found that uh, uh, Buddha Palita's teaching is more close to the, close to the Nagarjuna's uh, teaching. That's why he hold the Pasangika's tradition and refute mm, uh, Baba Vivika's interpret and explanations and then uh, from um, that, uh, for that refutation uh, and also explaining of the uh, Nagarjuna root text, he wrote this text, Madhyamaka Avatara, entering the Madhyamaka. Entering the Madhyamaka, Madhyamaka the means is Nagarjuna's text. text. So he introduced the, uh, the Nagarjuna's text in the Pasangika way. In order to do that, he wrote actually three, uh, three digits. Uh, uh, he first wrote this Madhyamaka Avatara root, uh, root uh, and uh, which has uh, 330 